We had kids learning about Newton's laws, and then they learned about momentum and impulse momentum, and then they applied uh, the ideas of, of impulse momentum and momentum transfer to reduce concussions in a sport of their choice. You know, they got to pick a, a sport of whatever sounded like fun to them to try and reduce concussions in it, and so they all started looking for the most obscure things they could find, and uh, they had a really good time just picking what sport or activity they were gonna uh, design a helmet for. We wanted to do something like a little different, so we chose water polo. Because we didn't think anybody else would do it, so, which they didn't. We're like, we you know people are gonna do football and Baseball lacrosse. And stuff. Yeah. The common sports, yeah. and so we wanted to do something a little out of the box. Materials wise, they were given a lot of uh, recycled, uh, reused scrap material. So we had a lot of memory foams, bubble wraps, I use, we're using like silicone, like your average silicone swim cap that you would use for swim practice um, as like a base layer. And then in between that and another top layer, swim top cap. layer of like silicone swim cap is, um, me there's memory foam, they're about two inches, but it'll like compress down a bit since. It's memory foam. <laughs> yeah, memory and, foam. and the, swim cap, so cap, the silicones are like tight together. and. And that actually helped more than we thought it was going to, because that was our proto for our prototype three. And, and we had to change good. something for uh, each prototype. Yeah, for each prototype, and we were like, well, we think we've got it locked down, right? But when we put the small foam in it, there was like a 30 newton of force change, so yeah. that was good. Yeah, it was really surprising. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. pretty surprising. Uh, their their control was to drop a soccer ball on a force plate, a vernier force plate, and then they um, would read off how much uh, force was felt by the plate and then they would, uh, they started out by testing each individual material on the force plate to see how the individual material reacted. And then they wound up creating a composite of two or three different layers of different materials to see how that would affect the impulse. So we started um, thinking about, we, had, we had started asking kids, so uh, what kind of impacts are you gonna have in your sport? Uh, is it one, really big impact like in football or is it going to be a bunch of small impacts let's say in water polo uh, and then we started so they built our initial designs around that and we tested them with a soccer ball and then we said is this really a good indicator or a good model for it and many of them said no uh, so we said well how would it change if we used you know a 10 kilogram medicine ball we started trying that one out and they got some very different results and had to redesign their project over a couple of times. I feel like the integrated approach is uh, much more engaging for kids. Uh, it does take a little bit more time on the front end, but once the kids are in it, it's much easier going, it's much easier planning, it's faster uh, because you've moved into more of a, a facilitator role instead of the um, the monkey on the stage trying to do a song and dance, they're into what they're doing and they want to keep doing it. They want to go to that next level uh, as opposed to us trying to keep them with us as we're trying to take them there. Uh, they will naturally progress into those next ideas.